Welcome to my new geometry nodes tutorial. This time I want to show you this uh, easy grid animation you can see here. And I don't want to waste your time, so let's get right started. So, file, new general geometry nodes, and I'm going to turn on my screencast key so you see here what I'm typing. So, I'm changing to Metcap here because it looks better, and I make a little uh, improvement of what you see here because I like it and because it's nice give them some segments here and I'm gonna turn on my auto, auto smooth so thinks it's this looks pretty nice and now I'm gonna hide the cube next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in here a plane and I turn on geometry nodes. Then I'm gonna add a mesh primitive which is not a grid, no it's a line because I think it's easier to handle. So now the group input node got here uh, a new input value which is an integer and we call it columns whoops and another one and we call it rows so that's nice and now we want to see something so we do point instance and we take our nicely created cube and this cube we change a little bit in size so that it looks good. Here we are, this looks good. And now we keep on going. So we have columns and rows. How many point instances do we need? Well, it's not that uh, difficult, it's simple math. And the simple math is just multiply the columns with the rows. So we change here to multiply and this is our count. Okay, now the cubes are gone. Why are they gone? Because here we took zero, zero and uh, we should stop this from being possible. So we say here, min is one, max I don't care. And here the same min is one. So we will always see something. So you cannot now change this below one okay that's fine now we want to do the positioning of our cubes why did i took a line i explain it right now it's because then i have a simple index so i can index each box and i can tell this is my box zero one two and so on and this i do with the help of this that value that's why the values are going up here. And I can say this is index 0, 1, 2 and so on. And I can use simple math for it. So I'm going to do attribute separate x, y, z. And I take the position which every point in geometry has this information. And then I take x, y and my index. And my index is now 0, 1 and so on. If you mute the point instance, you will see here the value. Zero up to multiplied columns mal rows. And yeah, that looks good. Great. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna um, change the exposition that they are here um, distributed on the x axis. How do I do this? Well, I take again attribute math node this time i take modulo and this i'm gonna take the index and here i need a float and i just take uh, my rows here and the result is my x value and then that i can see the result i have to write the x value back the position here for I take this combine mode and I need attributes here and I take my x value my y value z is zero which is fine and the result is the position and see now I have it contributed to the x 
value. I take this a little bit down so I see whether it works. Yes, four rows. No, that's one. So I take better the columns. Okay, now I want to do the y values. Uh, so I take again an attribute math node. This time I take a division. If I find it, here it is, and I have divide index by divided by columns, and this is my y value. And you see, it's of course because there is always a rest, so we have to floor this down with a round node, and we take the floor node and y y and see, wow, working nice. And now you can here uh, change the column and rows, and then. Uh, we can do this. And for animating this, we just use an input value, which is pretty easy. It's just our frame. And as we all know, the animation is, uh, as you can see here, 250 frames. So we map now our frame values with uh, map note from our input value is our frame. Our frames are from 0 to 250 and we want our count to start from 0 to maximum our calculated value. And this we're gonna plug in in our card. And if you want this, we have a beautiful animation this is what I wanted to show you. I hope you can use it and I hope you learn something. Have fun. Bye.